Hello everyone. In our daily lives, we use handwritten signatures to verify the authenticity of a person. While on the internet, we use digital signature, just like a handwritten signature, to verify the authenticity of a message. But what exactly digital signature is? Let's find out. Digital signature is an electronic encrypted code of authentication which is attached to the digital information such as email messages, financial transactions or electronic documents. This code or signature verifies and confirms that the information originated from the sender is real and hasn't been changed in the transit. Let's go a little more deeper into it. Digital signature uses advanced mathematical technique to validate the authenticity and integrity of a message. As I said, digital signature is equivalent to a handwritten signature, but it offers more security and also provides the evidence of origin, identity, and status of the message. Just keep in mind, the main purpose of digital signature is to solve the problem of tampering in digital communications. Okay, now let's see how digital signature is created and how it works. Basically, digital signature is created by using a cryptographic algorithm, what's called a hash. Hash is then encrypted by using a private key. Private key and public key are used for encryption and decryption. Sender encrypts the hash with the private key, while receiver decrypts it with the public key of sender. Sender and receiver both have private and public keys. Private key is kept secret and is not shared with the receiver while public key is shared. Let's put it in a more simple way. Private key is used for creating a digital signature while public key is used for verifying a signature. What makes this work is the fact that a pair of public and private keys are linked together which makes it impossible for a public key to verify a signature generated by a private key if it's not associated with it. Let's take an example for a better understanding. Let's say John has to digitally sign a document and send it to Michael. First of all, he selects a document that he wants to digitally sign. Then hash of the document is calculated by the cryptographic algorithm. This hash is then encrypted with John's private key to create digital signature. Now original document along with its digital signature is sent to Michael. After Michael receives the document or message, his computer then proceeds to do the next step. Decrypt digital signature using John's public key. Calculate the hash of the received message. Compare the hash it has computed with the hash of the John's message. If any difference appears in the hash values, it means that message has been tampered and digital signature is fake. If both hash matches, then Michael knows that digital signature is valid and message is real. So this is how digital signatures work. Now the question is, where do we use them? Well, they are used in financial transactions, cryptocurrency, government agencies, email messages, healthcare, manufacturing, software distribution and so on. Okay, now digital signatures are used to meet three important features of information security. Data integrity. With digital signatures, data integrity ensures that message received by the recipient is exactly the same message sent by the sender. Authentication. When you receive a sensitive file, it's really important to authenticate the source. For example, when you receive a list of your employees along with a request for their salaries. So in this situation, it's important to authenticate the source of that request first before sending out a response. Non-repudiation. Data tampering occurs over the internet. So in this case, you wouldn't want senders to disown the information they actually sent. For example, if someone sends you a file and the file is later found fake, you wouldn't want the sender to deny the fact that he sent it. Alright, so this brings me to the end of my video. Thanks for your time. Please hit the subscribe button.